Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <clears throat> I'm here in Letheria. You might recall, if you've been following along, that the previous episode ended with the game freezing up, causing me to lose all the progress we made in the last episode, and I believe I've managed to reconstruct it. In fact, I probably went a little bit too far. I didn't go any further in Electra's Blade Quest, but I did a lot with her affinity chart. For one thing, I ended up getting all the way out to level 5. I earned so much trust that I opened up level 5. And the main reason for that is these nodes right here, Rolling Thunder. To get Rolling Thunder, I decided to just grind it out because it required defeating enemies. That was the one where you had to defeat a certain number of enemies to unlock each node. So I just grinded that out. I went back to Gormont, to the very starting area where Rex and Pyra initially washed up and just mashed up the monsters in that area because they were all like level 4, level 5, level 6 and I was able to one-shot most of them and two-shot the few that I couldn't just one-shot. And it went pretty quickly. Thing is, Electra and Morag had full affinity, you know, the golden thread that you see during battle. So every single time I got into one of these little micro battles, Electra's trust went up a little bit. And I ended up getting all the way up to level 5. Now the thing about level 5 is it's open by trust, but these three nodes in particular are open by completing her blade quest. So once I complete the blade quest, I'm going to get Rolling Thunder level 5 immediately. Shocking Assault and Big Bang Bound, on the other hand, I won't get until I've completed levels 3 and 4 of each. And Shocking Assault here, I don't even know what I need to do to complete level 4. The condition is still question mark, question mark, question mark. But for these two, for level 3 at least, it's pretty simple. And then level 4 for Big Bang Bound, just use the ability a certain number of times. So, basically all I have to do for those is grind them out a little bit. I could have done that off-screen, but I figured I did enough off-screening already. I also was off-screening some stuff for Corvin, because his affinity chart's been all the way open for quite a while now, but uh, he's been languishing at only just halfway into level two. You know, he only had level one complete, level two was just halfway done, and level three was almost none. Just the two green field skill checks. So I did a bit of grinding for Corbin too. And all of this stuff is right here on Lefteria. So all I have to do is defeat two Seagull Ansels and two Sloam Runners. Both of them on Darum Isle. Which isn't going to be too difficult. So I might as well do that while I'm here. But first things first, Electra has a deal from her Blade Quest that's supposed to happen here. It's right down there. Sulala. And there's a side quest here, too. Huh. I wonder if I should take care of that one here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of preoccupied. I don't want to get even more preoccupied. So, Uki Uki and Sulala. Sulala looks to be in some trouble. Uh, Uki Uki, something wrong? Meh meh. Sulala out for counting heart, not beating. What should Uki Uki do? If only had some kind of zappy zappy power. Um, is something the matter here? Uki Uki just arrived here at Lefteria Islands. Tour guide Sulala here was meant to be showing Uki Uki around. 
But Sulala get even more excited than excited than Uki Uki. Sulala slip and hit head. Well, that's not good at all. I'll go fetch a doctor. Wait, please. Too late now for doctor. Sulala heart already stopped beating. Could friend use lightning power to start heart of Sulala again? What? It's no time for hesitate. Every second life of Sulala is slip away. Now it's my time. Here, let me. Oh. One level of electric short. Looks like I just don't have the power to do this. I'm so sorry. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, another thing that was different in the recorded episode that where all the progress got lost at the end, I changed around Nia's setup and removed Korra, but in this stuff that I off-screened to reconstruct everything I lost, I left Korra in there, and she has electric mastery, so she's actually been quite a bit of help. But I need someone else with electric mastery while I'm at it. Level two. That's more than enough. I only need one more level. Okay, let's get the party started. Okay. Have to go through all the dialogue again. Da da da. Already stood through all this. Now it's my time. What do you think? Here, let me. Zap! Electro zap, it's activated. Oh, I guess I'll just have to try. Too bad there's no sound effects there. That would make this a lot more immersive. You know, drumbeat sound effects. Meh, meh, meh! Big success! Whew, whew. Suvala gets so excited there. Felt like caught a glimpse of Elysium for a moment. Now, where was we? Come along, Uki Uki, lost the sea in Lefteria. Wait one moment. Sulala must be saying thank you to this nice person. Saying thank you? Sulala not really understand, but thank you, friend. Um, that's okay, just as long as you're alright. Friend is savior of life of Sulala. Thank you, friend. Controlling lightning got a little easier. Alright then. Let's get Florin back out. Thanks. I'll do my best. Okay, so... Two different monsters on Darum Isle. Two each. So, four total. We've arrived. Let's rock and bolt! Let's see. Seagull Ansels and something runners. Loam runners. Okay. Those are tiny little things, if I remember correctly. Seagull ansels are much bigger. I think the ansels are over here. Hey! No, those are jaguars. Hmm. There they are. There it is. The flying things. Oh no, that's a quad ring. There we go. Come down. Come on. Lure. Throw your rock, Mora. Come on. Engaging the enemy. Can I just hit him from here? Looks like the baddies need a short, sharp shock. No. Well, that was irritating. Now let's see. Gotta be kind to the environment. Mm, those are slow runners, I believe. Yep, here we go. Okay. Since Corvin wants him, let's have him out. Squad, hold your positions. Just 
Fighting a unique monster right now. I guess they are called Slow Runners for a reason. Okay, he got something for that? Huh. I'm not sure there's anyone out there good enough to beat me. Hmm. Did the other people kill it before I was able to run? That's interesting. Oh well. All's well that ends well. Okay, let's look for those oversized birds. Okay, there's one. And it now landed on the ground. See. Gotta be kind to the environment. Maybe I shouldn't have stopped here to get this stuff. Oh well. Alright, it's still down. Still down. Engaging the enemy. Time for Zeke yeah. von Gemmel. Oh, the time oh, is now. Oh, 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 Come on, oh, time to yes. Roger. Someone launch it, please. I got this. Roger. Okay. All right, that was one. Now I just gotta find another. Now oh, that's a quad wing. Uh, hmm. That's another quad wing. That's a turkin. Seagull and soul. I, I know there was another one. I could have sworn. Gotta be kind to the environment. There it is. Sort of circling around over there. that unique monster. Maybe I should just take it down. Get it out of my way. Oh man, the seagull Ansel flies right over its head. Hmm, okay, so Corvin in his affinity chart says, you know, what's the difference between these and the seagull runners? They look exactly the same. I think the difference is that these aren't going to run and call for reinforcements. I'd still like to get them out of the way, though. Let's end this. Far so good. Let's end this. Well, Smooth move. Watch this. Yeah. This guy can be kind of tough at lower levels, but I'm like 15 levels above him, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hmm, let's see. Alright, let's switch in Electra again so that I have easy access to a topple art. Alright. Can't lure him from here. 
We've been discovered. Fight spot! Yep! Great skies for their cross jump! Check it out! Oh, long time for us! Battle top! Smash! Smash! Aqua! Excellent! Excellent Concord! Oh man, I wanted to get that. Still your breath, and the mind will fall. Sky splitter cross chop. No one has wind, oh Finish them! Just Sky splitter cross chop. Let us make use of that. I'll put you up. Great. Good to have you here. You have my thanks. Yeah. Dynamic spot strength. Great. Okay. level two. Stop. Great. Now do level three. We'll deliver the final blow. Great combo. Stage. Great. Awesome. Not bad at all. My top of art missed. Smash. Smash. Boom. A worthy opponent is the culmination of years of trick. There's more of the Meteor! Unleash your power! Unleash your power! Okay, there we go. All this just to get him out of the way so I can take that seagull answer without too much trouble. Squad, hold your positions. Oh man. Whoop them goods just like always. Okay. Once again, Corvin. Now come on back. You flew right overhead. Lure him in, come on. It's too early to be complacent. Tartus could handle you this by himself. Leave it to Zeke. Give us your blessing. And Here we go. Sure. Yes. There we go. Got that done. And next one is in Tantal, as I recall. The next part of Electra's Blade Quest, that is. Keep a close eye out for trouble. Okay, let's make a start. Now then. Wait till you get a load of Durin doll now. Corvin is looking a lot better. And completely coincidentally. Seriously, complete coincidence. The rest of his stuff here is in Tantal for level four. So I need Klim Anludes, Arno Capibuzz, one more Broom Icicle, 
two Bland Dupas, two Vent Grifoxes, two Grad Gogols. Grad Gogols are easy to find. I know exactly where those are. I think I know where the rest are, but I'm not entirely certain. Are no capibas. Those are right next to the harbor where we first arrived. Okay. While I'm thinking about that, however, let's get on with Electra's Blade quest. So, if I remember correctly, the person I need to speak to is the King's Minister. Yep, there he is. Fortis. It's probably a huge violation of protocol that we're actually standing on the platform where the King's Throne is situated. But the game doesn't seem to care. Oh, these old shoulders of mine have been aching like nobody's business lately. They've been like this ever since Prince Zeke returned. Ho oh, hoo. Zeke. You're a huge cause of distress for this kingdom, you prodigal son, you. I can hardly wait to get another massage from my kind granddaughter. You look pretty tired, Chancellor. Would you like me to give you a shoulder massage? Why, that's very kind of you. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Now it's my time. Here, let me. Zap! Here goes nothing, then. <laughs> Plays him like a drum. Literally. I really wish there were drum sound effects there. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was the best massage I've ever had! I think the tingly, sparking sensation may have given my old joints a whole new lease on life. My granddaughter's massages always make me feel like I'm a year younger, but yours make me feel I lost at least 20. Well, I'm happy you liked it so much. Would you like me to do it again? That's a very tempting proposition, but I wouldn't want to keep you for too long. Besides, if I were to lose 40 years, I'd be younger than His Majesty. Ha 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 ha! I can't decide how old I think these guys are, honestly. Either he's dyeing his hair or he's wearing a wig, because he ought to have at least some streaks of gray if he's actually that old. Okay. Mastery of Thunder, level 4. to lightning so far so good yeah so level three focus requires the her favorite drink which I cannot get yet and this is just one more person and I don't know how to get level four of electric mastery yet So there's a few things I can do here. I can go to Temperanchi and get this unlocked. And then of course there's Corvin's stuff. Fortis, what do you have to say now? To get to the Omega Fetter, yeah, yada yada yada. The evacuation of civilians is proceeding steadily, I'll take your word for that. I'd ask that you repair the Omega Fodder Fetter if possible. Save Genbu, save Tantal. You are now the only ones on whom we can rely. Do you think you can do this for us? It'll take us a while, but don't worry. We'll get to it. Was that a seagull? Why are there seagulls in here? Eh, whatever. Okay, so if we go to 
Skin report. And, and we're you. head back in. Let us go. There should be some Arno Capabas right in here. And Corvin wants to take down two of them. Those are some bunnets. I don't want bunnets. There's a capable right over there. In fact, there's two of them. One dead ahead and one a bit further off to the side. Let's actually bring Electra back out. Maybe I can use her specials. Let's end this swiftly. I won't even break this way. Yeah, we're on top Okay, that works. Alright. That should have actually gotten another... Yeah, I think it was a four before, now it's a five. Engaging the enemy! Let's get ready! Just give me the word. I never give less than my all. Alright, there we go. And just to make sure I know what I'm doing. Yeah, now it's a six. It's working. And of course. Trust me, I'm your blade. Arno Capabo looks so warm and cozy. <laughs> Klim and Lud. I think there are some Klim and Ludes up here. another capable. I don't need more though. Okay, I think that antlered thing is the antlered. No, I'm wrong. Hmm. Well, how does that thing even survive? It looks like it's about to snap in two. Its midsection is so thin. How does it even support its own weight? Could have sworn. Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. Uh, I was hoping this was a mineral deposit. Because I think the broom icicle that I need is a mineral. Yeah, these aren't anodes. Those are just more capabas. Hmm. That's not an Anlude. That's a Bufa. Now let's see. Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. Hmm. A Lufa. Not a Bufa. At any rate, it's not what I'm looking for. Now let's see. Please open your hearts to me. Flora heals an aching soul. Huh. 
Okay, there were some minerals there, but none of the broom icicles that I know. Those are wolves. Okay, obviously, the monster I need is not in this area. I could have sworn. Please open your hearts to me. Flora heals an aching soul. Another collection point over here. Now let's see. Gotta be kind to the environment. Yeah, I'm not having any luck here. All right, time to skip travel somewhere else. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a heart to heart up ahead. Is this a mineral collection point? I could have sworn. Please nope. open your heart to Flora me. heals an aching soul. It's right next to a really big rock face, but still not minerals. It's the dawn of a new. Could have right. sworn. Let's get this show on the road. Didn't we see this heart to heart already? Hey, Pandoria. Zeke's a rather unlucky guy, is he not? Isn't it difficult being his partner? Oh, yes. That prince of mine, he's unlucky like you wouldn't believe. I could have sworn I seen this one already. Didn't I see it on the first trip here? Oh well. If there was an all all rest unluckiness championship, he'd win every time. From the incidents I've witnessed alone, he's already been chased by rolling rocks, fallen off cliffs. He even fell into the cloud sea once, as I recall. <laughs> you ain't seen the half of it. When he's walking in the harbor, he's always getting bitten or smacked around the face by the Titan ships. Oh, this one time, he got caught in a blizzard, took shelter in a cave, and wound up surrounded by a hundred Ignas. <laughs> I could keep going for hours. Well, I don't quite know how to react. Frankly, I'm impressed you're both still alive. Yes, congratulations on surviving. Or should I say, my condolences. Too far, Bridget. Too far. Still, I gotta admit, keeping an eye on my prince is a full-time job. You should try it yourself sometime. He drives me crazy. <laughs> I'm sure I saw this heart-to-heart -heart before. How come it's come back? Or maybe I'm just remembering one of my test plays? Hmm. So we could say this to her and then she gets all cutely flustered about how, you know, it's not like that between us. So what does she say if we do this? You sound almost like his mother. Oh yes. He's such a frightful little sunny gem. Wait! Who are you calling his mom? At least go for big sister or something. <laughs> ah, what a comeback. What impeccable comedic delivery. <laughs> you like it? You gotta have a sharp wit when you're dealing with that guy. But comedy aside, it all comes back to his blasted bad luck. If you had to deal with some of the stuff I've been through, you'd be worrying like an old maid, too. When it really counts, he can be a proper hero. But the rest of the time, I just don't know what to do with him. 
It wouldn't be Zeke without a little bad luck, though, would it? I quite agree. It's an integral part of his identity. Yep. And ain't that just the worst thing? <sighs> the things I put up with for my prince. <laughs> Curse of the Zekinator. Yeah, maybe it was one of my test plays and I'm getting them mixed up. Probably wouldn't be the first time. Are those Anludes? Now let's see. I know that Anludes are sort of big antlered things. Poppy specialist feel. No, these are Ares. Big goats. I could have sworn. Gotta be kind to the environment. A broom icicle. There we go. Got that at least. So wait, that was a, a piece of wood? Um, where is it in here? I just picked up a, I just picked up at least one of them. It ought to be a, high on the list. Fine, let's organize it. Broom Icicle. It's not here. Okay, where... What happened to it then? <laughs> don't want to go through the whole list, but... Looks like that's the only way I'm going to figure out what the heck it is. Okay, literally what? It's not on the list anywhere. That is weird. Is it that when I found them, I gave them to whoever asked for them, and that's why they're not in my inventory anymore? <sighs> this game is oddly inconsistent on that point. Sometimes it gives stuff up, like just now. Other times... You don't actually give people anything like back in Nim's Blade Quest. That's really strange. Well, at least I got it done. Glad I could help out. It's what I'm here for. Hmm. So those aren't ad loads. Where can I find an ad loot? Is that an Anlude? It looks different from both of the things I've seen so far. It could just be another Ares. I might. Ahaha! Ha. No, it's not a goat, it's a deer. Or an elk? I don't know. Whatever it is, I have to kill it. So. Oops, wrong button. I was trying to hit A, I hit X by accident. Too early to be complacent. I was never the cautious type. And out of range it goes, for goodness sake. Gotta catch up with it. Squad, hold your position. One million volts break! Break your eyes like the like the guard lady Fine. With my life. I'll fight for two! Don't forget it. Hear, hear, Bridget. We go together. Pride of the Empire emblazoned on our hearts. Those are just more Ares. Yeah. All right, if there was one Clinton Anlude here, there might be another. Now let's see. That is In not my it. experience, I know quite a bit. Ha! Oh, 
And loot. That looks like an and loot. Let's end this swiftly. Nims level four. You'll get some good use out of this. So far, so good. Gogols, Griffoxes, and Upas. Gogols and Griffoxes are down on the lower level. Upas, I'm not too sure about. You'd hear the flowers speak if you'd only listen. Well, you can do that for me, Florin. Wow! My powers know no bounds! My dream is to one day be able to talk to all animals. Oops, so far, so good. Use Wild Grappler. I gotta use her level 2. Alright. Defeat the Valum Agashu. Hmm. And Ulfren Jack. Oh man, I was right. I was just there. Blast it. Collect fish. I was about to say, seriously, I never checked to see that I got this. Because that came out of the uh, Blade Quest. But of course I didn't get it because her level 4 wasn't unlocked until now. Get out of here. Go to the lower level. Let's see here. Okay, Great Pillar Passage will put me pretty close to where the Grad Gogols are. Arrived. Let's rock and bolt. And there's two of them right there. Two more. Okay. The world is trembling. So far, so good. Now I can really contribute. Wow. She got level four and five all at the same time. Hmm. 
Still a lot of stuff for Pandora, this question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, one more Gragolo, and then I think those are the other things that um, that Corvin needs. Squad, hold your position. Look, I got the best of Ah! It didn't be One million dollars. This is the culmination of we're on top farm. Dropped a lot of stuff there. Okay, and then those cat like things, I believe, are one of the other monsters that he wants. This sword may just save your life. I think those are the Vent Griffoxes. Yep. Squad, hold your position. Looks, looks like we've got a fire shot, shot. shot. Yep. Sky splitter cross shot. Holy oh. charge! Ah. Make me see. Okay. Bam, bam. 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 Surely, gentlemen, now. I'm slow. Good on you. We're on. Good. 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 Hey, he's special. Now level three. need to do that 12 more times <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna grind that out right now though if I happen to get the opportunity to use it then fine but right now I want to complete Corvin's level 4 I'm not sure there's anyone out there good enough to beat me bland upas so, so those are really tiny things um, I'm sure I saw some running around nearby Those are not Oopas, those are penguins. Yeah. Oopas are like tiny little lizards. Which are oddly 
easy to spot because they're very dark colored on a white background here. But I don't see any off now hand. Let's see. Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. I could have sworn I saw some running around a bit ago, but I seem to have lost sight of them. Or maybe I was mistaking those penguins for the Oopas. Let's see here. Let's get some high ground, see if I can spot them from up here. I could have sworn. Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. Uh, that isn't them. That looks like them. Now let's see. Please open your hearts to me. Flora heals an aching soul. There we go. Let's end this swiftly. Charges to the under the cloud cell. Couldn't you make? The time is now! I'm on a roll! Really? Yes! We're on a roll now! Rush! Yeah! Shackle drive! Two arms, Lady Mora! The enemy's enemy is now! That is very annoying. Sure. Ah, that's really getting irritating. I shall defend you to the last, my lady. All right. And there were two of them right there. So that takes care of that. Now his entire level four is done. Wait till you get a load of Durandal now! Corvin is looking a lot better than he was before. Alright. Now. The last thing I need to do for Electra's Lord of Thunder training is here in Argentum. Keep a close eye out for trouble. Let's if I remember correctly, vote. the first step has to be done during the day. Hi. I could be mistaken. Hey, that weird machine is pretty unusual, right? It was hauled up by a salvager, but nobody knows what it's for. My dad reckons it's not broken or anything, but he can't figure out what to do with it. Apparently, a lot of these salvage machines start working when you give them lightning energy. But nobody in Argentum has enough lightning energy to make this one work. If you think you can do better, why not give it a try? How is this machine supposed to work? 
I've seen a lot of salvage machinery in my time, but nothing quite like this. Now it's my time. Here, let me. Hmm. Okay. Ten levels of lightning mastery, huh? Electric mastery, rather. I can do that. notes here, and no. The first one can be done at any time, and the second one has to be done at night. And because I remembered the second one needing to be done at night, I thought the first one had to be done during the day. But no, the first one can be done anytime. I just need enough electric, I just need enough electric mastery. Alright, let's see about getting a bit more. I think I have level 6 right now, and I need level 10. can only equip one more blade. I need to keep Bridget, and I definitely need to keep Electra for this, so this guy has level two. What would you do without me? And then I need to keep Dromark, definitely want to keep Korra. Right. Okay, let's get the party started. That should be enough. Here's a little demonstration. Now it's my time. What do you think? Here, let me. Perfect. I think you almost had it there, you know? I'm sure I heard this machine almost start functioning. But an instant later, it stopped completely. Do you think it could be linked to the supply of lightning energy? It's the only explanation. It was only supplied with lightning energy for an instant, so it could only activate for an instant. But if we could provide it with a constant flow of lightning energy, I think it might work for real. I see. Of course, there's no telling what it will actually do once it activates. It can be pretty dangerous with all the people around during the day. Let's test it out at night. A good call, I think. Sounds like a plan. Understood. Right, so... When you first get started, you can do it. You can do that check. Because it only requires her Lord of Thunder level 1. But then to do the second check, you need Lord of Thunder level 4. Because she needs better control. And it has to be done at night. Here's a little demonstration. Now it's my time. Here, let me. Easy does it. Easy does it. Electra. Don't distract her. Right. Yep, just a little longer. Everything's going to be fine. I can definitely do this. So that was amazing! Way to go! Thanks, guys! Told you I could do it! 
Bezos the star chart projector. Looks like you made that thing your own. I would say that is your true power, Electra. Yeah, your power certainly brought a smile to everyone's face. That's my power? Yeah, nice one, Electra. Wow, I don't know what to say. I. <laughs> Making people happy feels pretty good. <laughs> it's beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. I know, right? We've got Electra to thank for this one. Ah, oh, gee, thanks so much. Think you're starting to get the hang of controlling your power now, Electra? Yeah, I'm totally fine with it now. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Okay, Zeke actually had a line this time, and that makes perfect sense, because in order to get the one at Theoscadia Palace, you have to have Zeke in your party, obviously. It's impossible to get that far until he's joined your party, so yeah. Makes sense. Like, so much! Oh, we didn't do all that much, really. I was gonna say, you're the one that made this happen, Electra. Nope, you were all helping me out from the get-go. I couldn't have done it without you guys. <laughs> Zeke's getting sentimental. Well, hold on. Are you crying there, Shellhead? I just... This must be how it feels to see my own daughter growing up. Daughter? I think you've got merit to worry about first there, buddy. How traditional. You overcame your own shortcomings, Electra. You are, you're already coming along in leaps and bounds. You've really done incredibly well. Thanks. I guess I do try. So can I, uh, ask you something? Sure. Remember that kid who started crying because of me back in Torgoth? The one you zapped, yeah. I kind of ran away because I didn't like my own powers back then. But now I feel like I should apologize to the boy. If he starts crying again, I want to help him this time. I get it. Alright, let's go and look for him. What, Really? Really, and this time you can show him just how far you've grown. Eee, thank you. We'll probably have to ask around Torgoth to work out where the kid is. Is that fine with you? Totally. Back where it started, huh? Mastery of Thunder level 5. Coolness. Look for the youth who electroshocked in Torgoth and Gormont. Okay. And now she has a new idol animation. Or is that just the same old idol animation? From, I remember her having an idol animation where she tries to focus her powers and then it kind of zaps a bit too hard and she falls on her butt. But I guess there was also one where it just kind of uh, fizzled out. Well. Uh, Gormont, Torgoth. Abel's Fountain, sure. Phew! That was a slog. Let us go. See. So it's kind of over in that direction. Hmm. Well, there's something I want to check before we do that. Wait a second, I saw the marking on the map there. There's three markings on the map. So I guess I have to really go searching around for them. Huh. Alright, so anyway. There's something I want to check. I'm going to bring Rex back into the party. At least briefly.
and there's a scene that might pop up if I stay at the end when I have both Rex and Zeke in the active party. Let's see if it happens. Good morning. And yes, I'm very well rested. It did not happen. Hmm, okay. Well. And I just noticed I still have that common blade out. Let's go back. Okay, Corbin. where are we off to? Lauren. Thanks. I'll do my best. All right, that should be fine. Well, viewers out here in the real world, I'm actually out of time, so I'm going to have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the next episode, we'll do this last little bit of Electra's Blade Quest and bring her all the way up to the end of her well, story, I guess? There's still a little bit more beyond this that we haven't done with her yet, but this, at least, her main plotline, as it were, is coming to a close, and we'll get to that in the next episode. See you then!